Oh, I've done. <laughs> I'll empty the tent. <laughs> Praise the Lord, it's good to be here, amen. amen. You know, love missions, love mission work, it's in the blood and it won't go. Amen. And I thank God for that. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, um, I'll just share a quick testimony. Um, I got saved in 1983. I give my life to Jesus. This mission was established in 1983, officially established with the first convention at Ilkeston there. And um, since then, we've seen it grow. We've seen it multiply. We've seen a lot come and a lot's in heaven now as well. But I want to thank God because as you see it grow, you realize that it's the greatest work that's ever happened amongst gypsy and Amen. people throughout the world. Amen. It's the greatest, the greatest thing that's ever happened to us. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit simultaneously all over the world. And I want to thank God because our mission has been established since 1983. And I thank God for that. And this convention has just gone was the 39th convention that we've ever had. And I praise the Lord for it. And I thank God for the work. It's the hand of the Lord. Amen. This is not man's work. This is God's work. Amen. This is the work of the Lord. Amen. All those who serve the Lord and put their hand to the plough, we're just being obedient to the work of the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit that encourages us and pushes us on. Amen. And so our work got established since 1983. And I thank God. And a short while afterwards, well, a few, a little few years afterwards, we, those who were, were preachers and trainees, we had to attend a Bible college called Nuneaton, King's Bible College in Nuneaton. Tom was there, right? And we had to we had to attend it for three to four months. So we done the college and we finished our time, and so we moved on. And then eventually it come out that they're going to stop us from travelling. We won't be able to travel no more. We never had no churches. We didn't have our churches. But then all of a sudden we come to the idea now we need our own churches because we're going to have to be stopped. The government is trying to stop us from shifting altogether. And so we said, we need our own churches. So the first church that was established, official church that was established, was in a place called near Ashgreen in Kent. Kent was the first gypsy church that we ever had. And I want to thank the Lord, because now, with the establishment of the work of the Lord, now we see as the work grown, we see now that we've got 33 churches Hallelujah. in England. Amen. We've got over 100 preachers, we've got trainees, we've got deacons, we've got... We've got deacons and we've got elders of churches. And I want to thank the Lord for that. I want to thank the Lord for our missions that we've been having. This Amen. For those who, 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 who desire to see souls saved, you know. The greatest blessing that we could ever have in our whole heart is just to see a sinner turn to Christ. Amen. And turn to the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Glory. I want to thank God and thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the years that I've been serving him, you know. And... Um, I said in a statement once, it seemed to go around and there's no reverse in this gearbox. So, <laughs> you know, we just have to keep going. I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord. And we used to go around the tents, didn't we? George and Shinders and all that. And we, wherever we went, we put a tent up and we would preach the gospel and we would see souls saved and we would travel all summer and we would be up and down with tents. And I thank God for that. You know, and um, it's wonderful. You know, and um, I just about to say, serving Jesus Christ, whatever you're doing for the Lord is the greatest thing that anybody can ever Amen. do. Amen. It's to serve the Lord. Amen. You know, and we don't give up. We're those who continue. Amen. We're those who continue to run for the Lord Jesus Lord, Christ Amen. and work and search for Him. You know, this mission here, I thank God for it. You know, if one soul is saved, it's worth every Amen. effort Amen. of labor. Lord. It's worth every effort of labor. You know, I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the French that come over. They kept coming over continuously to tell us about Jesus. I want to thank God for the brothers who accepted the Lord at the beginning. I want to thank the Lord for the first convention that we ever had. And since then, it's uphill all the way. Praise you know, and I can testify, I can testify now, I really believe deep in my heart that for the, the time I've been saved, it just gets better. Hallelujah. The relationship with Jesus gets closer and closer and closer. And the more you continue, the more you thirst and hunger 
for the righteousness of Christ, Thank the more Lord. the more better it becomes. Amen. So if you're young in the Lord here, and you you know you may be a year of Christian, six months of Christian, two year, or whatever you are, remember one thing: it just gets better. Hallelujah! If you follow and give everything to Christ, it gets better, and it gets better all the time. And I know that those who have been saved for many years. And you go and ask them after this meeting and say, Adam, have you been saved? Son? And they will say to you, yes, absolutely, definitely. It's better and better and better. The more I walk on with Jesus, the better it gets. Thank you, Lord. The better it gets. It's the peace of God that surpasses all Hallelujah. understanding. Amen. God bless you all. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.